good morning guys yeah it's nine o'clock in the morning so my alarm is probably gonna go off in a second i uploaded the last vlog yesterday in the afternoon and i haven't been to bed since i got up yesterday at one o'clock i've been down helping a lady out um been at the grocery shop yesterday done some computer work done some um jewelry and pen by the way i made some pens gingerbread pens and that's my alarm <laughs> and i did not go to bed and then when the clock turned 20 minutes past five in the morning i was when do the water park open in skive oh yeah it's open six o'clock okay i'm gonna pack my bag so i packed the bag and went in there was in the water hot water top thingy uh, the hot top for mm, one and a half hour got a big scrub in in the shower which is why my hair is a little bit more easier to handle but not quite you can still see i have that donald trump thing going on which has been irritating because my that's why i go with the thing to try to get that to stop because the moment my hair gets long enough i can just turn it back and you won't see it that much so i have a little bit of a donald trump thingy going on and i'm not proud of it i don't actually like it so, um, got that done, which feels nice. I actually feel a lot more energized now. Uh, did start a yawning <laughs> like that on my way. <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm definitely gonna start again. <laughs> um, on my way home from in there, I went and got some super glue or gorilla glue or whatever you want to go go with because I used the last last this night on making pins. Yeah, you can just see them there. You're not gonna see more. Um, and I and I got two thinking. I don't have any packing card for those. And I am not gonna order any packing cards because I used I used the last money I had on my card and my wallet on this. Um, so what I'm gonna do? So I took the measurements, and I kind of like the measurements I have for these ones, which is five by seven, barely by five by seven. So. The pins go well on these, but I don't like the color for it. Oh, I may you can just switch around, but I still have all the holes, and the holes doesn't fit in. Then I realized, and when you have all the car stuff for the big cards upstairs, you could pick one of the card stuff that isn't very suitable for making cards because the pattern is just off. So they are 14 by 28 and I want to make cards that is 7 by 5 so if I do 2 on the 14 and then 5, 5, 5, 5, five all the way home I will get what I need even if it's already bent I can still get what I need so I should be able to get 8 cards per sheet bagging cards and I need almost four sheets of bagging card almost I got the 8 16 30 26 I, I got about 30 
In total, I got about 33 uh, uh, pins. So, it, it should be fine. It should be fine. So, I might do that. Uh, go up and look for that. Or I might not. You'll have to see. For now, I want to get something to drink to wake up. And watch a little bit of video. And I'm currently testing another game. All of my testing the games to earn money. Uh, that one I should should get a be told if I can get a payout tonight. So that would be nice if that works. That would be probably the twenty three I have been testing this for. So yeah, if I find some energy for it I might set up and do that pre-recorded live stream um, which I've, I've been talking about doing with the jewelry but I would like to make sure that I actually have the energy for actually not being boring because there's no music over it so I need to be aware of that so that's what I was doing yesterday Preparing for like sorting all of the um, packs, so all of the um, foxes are standing together. All the these ones are standing together. All of these ones are sorted out because they need a uh, pin glue to the back for getting earrings. So I I was sorting all that and I end up having two boxes and a handful. Beside that, so there's a lot of stuff needs to do, and I'm running out of everything as usual. Package just showed up. I'm currently making some food because I'm hungry. Let me just check this one. Now I can at least get around to actually making the necklaces and the extra hoops if I need extra hoops and I can make the bracelet thingies. This is so much nice. Hi guys and welcome back. So I was doing a little bit of making jewelry. And I decided some of the gingerbread p p things was a little bit too big for earrings. So I made it into pins instead. And I got thinking the cards I have for the earring do not fit with what I need for the pin backing card. And then I remember I can do A4 size paper, go find some fancy paper or cardstock that is. And then I realized I need to make the backing card 5 by 7 centimeters. <laughs> so instead of going and buying and buying and buying, why not just use the cardstock I have? The my, very, very funny different type of cardstock I have for my different cards. This cardstock is 7, no, 14 by 28, which gives me exactly what I need. And I may have a little slip in the end, but that's okay. So that's fine. Then I thought, I came up here yesterday, by the way. Then I thought it was over here. Yes. Well, I moved it after I finished packing cards, so usually I put it over here. So I went through all of that, 
And I couldn't find it. Maybe I took it downstairs because I do have a lot of treaties downstairs need to be matched up. Went through that today. Couldn't find it. Then in the back of my mind there was something maybe, maybe before I left up here. It's over here. But I already had a very aching back yesterday. From moving all the other stuff. So didn't really feel like moving too much. So I went down. Went through that downstairs. It wasn't down there. So I just came up here. And lo and behold. It was right there. In that grey little box there is there. Entire box of this. And I think, I do say I think the box behind it you can't see right now. I have the same. Did not open it. Because I found what I needed. So my calculation is I need three and a half peas. And I have exactly four here. Could not be better. I was thinking about doing something that only had something in the top and bottom, but this might actually be better, to be honest. So I'm going to do that, which means I now have everything I need for the live stream. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> so yay! So the last thing I need is to find. And for anyone that's thinking, hey, may are you? Only wearing a um, morning coat thingy, the one you take on before I get dressed. Yes, I am because I was down at Laura's place. She has a teddy bear uh, suit that she has been showing out to me or laying out to me. So we are just testing. And a little, a little bit more work. Ow. And of course all of the cats down there did that my usually bag thing I have on was covered. I do mean covered in cat hair. Me trying to eat anything with that did not go well. So I changed out of that, still have cat hair on this one, but I managed to move most of it. Ate my dinner and went up to look for this. That's kind of a weird and I would like to show you what I'm talking about. These ones. Made they're a little bit too light, more orange. They are warm yellow, not quite orange, but still. I think can go decent with this. And um, excuse me, I glued on the bin, so I got that ready. I just need to pack them. Which means I need to find a measurement for, I can take this off, um, for where I want the holes to be and that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, probably gonna cut those out tonight. I have to bring the car to the mechanic tomorrow so I can get the undercarriage on the underside covered so it doesn't rust through. I would like to go over with bottles and cans so I can get some money. And Laura invited me down to her sewing place because they do have some uh, ribbon. I would like to make uh, those uh, small landlines that you just have around your wrist for keys and that kind of stuff or small wallets. Yeah, I'm gonna work all that in. I don't know, but I'm gonna figure out a way to do it now. 
I am going to figure out how I'm going to set up. I actually went to the... Here's the thing. The day up to yesterday, I stayed up all night. Five o'clock I went into the water park and spent about two hours in there. Then came home around 11 o'clock, I passed out. Slept until five-ish in the afternoon. Stayed up until 10, went to bed. It was at least half past midnight before I actually fall asleep. But woke up around seven or eight o'clock this morning. Stayed in bed for a little bit and then passed out again without even noticing. I still had my phone in my hand. And slept until someone called me and said, Hello Marie, I got something to tell you. This is important. Are you still sleeping? Yes. You are always sleeping when I'm calling. Sure. Is it important? I just want to brag. Fine. Do it in three hours. <laughs> uh, an hour after, barely an hour after, I was out of bed and ready to talk. And I got a little bit of stuff done. And I didn't have to write to her because it was past that time we talked about. She just wanted me to tell her that her wheelchair she's driving in outside has gotten new tires. Good to hear. Now you can get around again. Um, then I was doing some computer work and figured something out. I'm still missing one package. Uh, apparently uh, the company has a little bit of trouble getting it to me. But they have until Wednesday, and then the, the official limit of days are gone. So, Wednesday next week they have, so that's a week from now. Yeah. But I am going to figure out what I'm going to do about setting up and... I might do that tonight and then film that tonight because I slipped that much in. Or I might not, I don't know. We'll have to see. I just finished, by the way, it's two minutes past midnight, so two minutes into Sunday morning or wherever you want to get. So the night between Saturday and Sunday. Finished up about an hour ago, the last of the jewelry, which is what you saw. I made three cards. And I listened to an audiobook doing all this and watched um, a couple of YouTube videos. 
and Sunday is a very, 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 very special day for Denmark. If you don't know, it's Sunday the 14th of January, and that's the day where we are going to get a king again. Our queen are stepping down and has decided that her oldest son, she has two sons, but her oldest son is going to step up and take the crown. And I never thought we were going to have a king again in the time I was living. So I am very, very, very happy. Now I've had a queen as my ruler and I've had a king as my ruler. I'm very happy. So the last couple of days there has been in Copenhagen, which is our, uh, the biggest city we have, where the, ca the royal family usually are living. Um, there is a lot of um, smaller castles around in Denmark where they sometimes travel to and live. But um, they are going to the one in the middle, I believe the middle of Copenhagen. The capital of Denmark, I guess you can call it. I don't know when... The crown prince, as I call it, will get his crown and become king. But I would, one thing I really love to see with these things, and with weddings and that kind of stuff, I would like to see the dress with weddings. I would like to see them say yes to each other, do the kiss, and then walk out and meet the people and leave the church. So, from usually from getting into church with the dress to halfway through leaving uh, to the end destination. That's about where I stop. I don't actually sing and all that with them, but I do like to watch those things. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to watch tomorrow, but I would love to see how the thing is, if it's kind of like the... Um, uh, the British one, or what it is, uh, where he get crowned and that kind of stuff. I'm hoping it's a little bit different, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but I would like to see him get the crown on his head and get, is it called, sworn in and that kind of stuff. So I am really looking forward to watching that. <laughs> I'm really happy. Really happy. So yeah. Um, I this day I helped our lady get a piece of furniture and helped another lady pull in some wood for her fireplace because on Monday we are gonna get another snow thing and we are supposed to get a meter of snow one meter of snow and I am not looking forward to that not at all I haven't looked into the weather forecast at all and I don't want to I want to because I just want to get stuck here at home and don't want to leave to be honest um, because of the weather I might have to go and get some food so I can get through the next days without having to leave the house That'll be nice. Um, but we'll have to see what is going to happen for now. Uh, I also today made a schedule. A fairly simple one, <laughs> but nonetheless a schedule for what I want to be done each month. I will say, for now, if I haven't told you guys, um, I have a Facebook group on Facebook obviously I would like to make into a shop because it's free to use so what I'm gonna do is that I'm probably gonna take down most of the pictures that's on there already and then or maybe I keep it I'll have to see um, then I will upload pictures of jewelry and 
then you can buy the jewelry through that. So you write me a message saying I would like to buy uh, a one B three and F two. Let's say that's how I mark them. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna mark them. But I want to make very 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 simple marking system so I can figure out what does what. Um but it's requiring me to get some storing boxes for stars. And I can't get those before the first. Uh and I need to get some more hooks because I still got over half of the uh thing stadwick left to do. Yeah. So I'm probably not gonna be done with hooking everything and get everything ready before the end of February. Then I have to take pictures and everything. So I'm hoping by the middle of March I will have a lunch day. That's my plan. Be aware in eight days I have to go back to work. That's another thing. My boss did tell me I should not have to come and work in the weekend because there was no sleeping uh, guest. So I might have to go and clean the Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. That's kind of where we at right now. Hopefully I can clean for two days at work. Uh, ne not next week, but the way the week after, and then I can just say, okay, that's it. Um, because someone is supposed to come and help me out with one of the things. So, if she takes the party area and the party toilets, then I can take the rest of it, which is a lot. But still, that will help me out immense, a lot to do that. So yeah. And I actually feel pretty good having all these things done. I have done, by the way, I've done a little bit of Christmas. But then I realized I shouldn't be doing the Christmas thing yet because I don't need the Christmas thing right now. So why am I putting the hooks on those? This kind of irritated me. But in the other end, I do need to do them at some point. Uh, I might even have to order more because... Um, I don't know how much I'm going to sell before the next market in November or if I'm going to wait with the Christmas thing so I don't run out of stock for that market and then just can order more after. I might do that. I don't know about that yet. But at least I have something here for Christmas. <sighs> but I feel really, really good about getting some cards done today. I feel productive and I feel good. And that's nice. So this is our new king. Long live the king of Denmark. And you can see which YouTube video I'm taking this from. So they got a shout out too. If you want to see the entire video that is. Yeah, I'm not having the best of luck right now. <laughs> With my scheduling. Um, I set an alarm for 7 o'clock because that was when everything was supposed to start up with this uh, uh, crown shift and all that kind of stuff. Ruler shift. Did not hear any of my alarms. Woke up around 2 o'clock and I realized. Hey, it wasn't around 2 or 3 or something like that. It was supposed to do the shift thing. So I go on 
the free channel we have here in Denmark, which is DR1, DR1 in Danish, and they are showing them driving to the thing in the middle of the Copenhagen. And then I scroll back and see the entire thing from the beginning up to that point, and then they show a little bit of a video clip from when the Queen uh, sign over the rule to the new crown prince, the uh, crown king. Um, and those two pictures which I put on Twitter, I posted, you can see a picture of that. Um, and a little bit of a clip of our new king two probably right after this um so i got the clip and posted it in bed and then when it was about <laughs> i'm not kidding about four o'clock in the afternoon i dragged myself down a bit <laughs> and got in here and got to film that little clip i think it was around four three or four um got something to eat watch some videos, try to get myself doing something and I just can't drag myself to do anything which I had a feeling of <laughs> it's just irritating so taking into consideration how late it is it's right now 4 minutes past 7 in the evening I'm doing dinner we are supposed to have a snowstorm coming in by Monday, Tuesday. So, I'm gonna stay up. That was my microwave. Um, I'm gonna stay up and try to get a little bit of system in my house tonight. And tomorrow, when the grocery shops open, I'm gonna go down and get a few things before. The snow hits i'm gonna make a plan for what i'm gonna get i have a limited amount of money to do that with and then i'm gonna bunk down for the next five days probably when the snow blows in and goes away which means i'm probably not gonna leave my house hopefully i can get to do that uh, which give me a good excuse to get some cards done. No excuse for not doing cards. So, yay! I'm also do, gonna do some... Um, checking on how my budget is for the first, because we are on the 14th. So now is the time where I'm supposed to be checking up how much do I have to traverse? How much do I have to work with? I do have to go down and get that bear uh, suit from a lady. And maybe I can do that on Monday, which will be tomorrow. Maybe. Depending on her work schedule. But that's just how it is. And if anyone is noticing, I'm wearing the same shirt. Uh, hoodie multiple times it's because I am only wearing when I'm cold then I take it off and then I put it back on when I'm cold so in a day I maybe wear it for one to two hours so I'm not gonna wash it I throw it to wash just for one to two hours I'm gonna wear it multiple days before I throw it into wash unless it get really really dirty by something so don't judge me on that I'm just saving on washing so yeah that's my plan for now. Ow, and my neck still hurts. <coughs> Believe it or not. So yeah. Why am I start crying again? <laughs> About four to five hours ago I had to take some time for myself because I just couldn't immediately um, Brian or his people family posted 
that Brian has sadly passed away. And it's funny because, not funny at all to be honest, but I wrote on the last video they posted, please let us know when he passes so we can pay our respect. And the next post is, Brian has sadly passed away. That could not have been better time because I really want to know when he passed so I could pay my respect, which I did, and this is too. Brian, you have been a, such a big thing in my life. And I love watching your video, I watch long laughing, I can't speak. I love watching your family dynamic with your co-workers too. You treat them like family, just like I'm being at my work. So thank you. And I hope you're in a better place. May you rest in peace. So, as you can see on the pictures, it's snowing. And it's not exactly funny, to be honest. Um, my, oh, my neck hurts. My furnace went down yesterday. Which means all the warmth I have been putting into the house is mostly out and then I need to warm up again and by then it was already freezing outside and new snow hitting yesterday so it feels about five degrees Celsius colder than it's supposed to be in here which is not good for me because then I start getting stiff in my body because I'm freezing and then my neck starts hurting and yes my neck are hurting That's just how it is right now. So, I am going to make a little bit of cards. Just a little bit. Just to be productive. Because oh, I need to be productive. I also today... Sorry for the bad lighting. I also today had a chat with the different places I'm going to pay bills to the first. And it looks like I have around a, a 1,000 Danish corner more this month for my budget. That I don't have to worry about because I have been overpaying the last while. Oh my. Um, I would hear something out the road. Uh, and they finally uh, flipped it around. So even that I used for around 2000 something in. Gas. Just a second. Just check my notes. Yeah. Yeah, I used around two thousand. Um. Five hundred in total in gas, but I've been overpaying, so I had to pay. 525 in um, administration, just call it that, and then for the gas itself, I was set to almost 900, I don't have to pay one single thing, so that's zero, so that's nice, and then I had a couple other things that paid out to be a little bit more cheap, so I'm glad, so a thousand kroner more on my budget, this coming up first and count it up with what I have to buy for the first and um, bill stairs coming in and all kind of stuff and yeah, it's looking good 
I just need to get through what is it today is the 16 uh, I have one two weeks and a day so, yeah 15 days I have 15 days and then I am clear to go with the new budget um, Let's see how much my losing weight is gonna work out for me this month. If it goes fine, fine, I might just stick what I'm doing. But if it doesn't go fine, I might buy the program for We Sweat to get down weight we will have to see we will have to see right now i have a sweet tooth like crazy and i don't like that because that means if i just get the smallest thing in the house i will eat it immediately and i hate when i have it like that so yeah that's kind of where my stand are about that and my neck has been hurting all day I just got my neck to work yesterday with, where it didn't hurt and then I slipped the wrong way and now it's back again. At least not as bad as last time. I know what the problem is. My, I have two pillows and every second to third day my bed would slide a little bit down and it would leave a gap between the wall and the bed because it doesn't have any bed thing cover a bit to get into so what's it called headboard so it will slide down so the lowest pillow will slide down in between the wall and the bed which means the, the I'm only sleeping on one pillow now which is too little for my neck so oh I swear, the next bed I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna have a headboard on. I already look into some, and they lay around fifteen thousand, which is not gonna be anywhere near now. I had been looking into actually, um, what's it called? getting a bed frame made by myself this shouldn't be that bad but it's still gonna cost me a couple of three to four thousand and right now i can buy a bed with everything for about seven and a half and i don't have to do anything but i don't have the money so that's just how it's gonna go now i can see that brian's followers has been posting a lot uh, in tribute to brian which i do enjoy watching so i've been watching a lot of that today um crying every single time to be honest i watch anything but that's just how it's gonna go it's gonna take me some time to get over that um so yeah January has been a sad, sad month. I don't know why. It's been a sad month. Well, it's been a couple of days. <laughs> oh, my. Um, someone keep tearing up my stones after I finally laid them all down again. So I have decided with Daddy that there's going to come up some cameras. Because I'm tired of this. Uh, when they're going to come up, I don't know. And I'm not going to tell anyone when they're coming up. Because I don't want anyone that sees this to know when the camera's up or when they're not up. So they will be able to take photos 
at night and in daylight and they should be able to take pictures too I think I will have to look into it but we are looking at it so that aside I have been at work for the last two days and up to the first day of work I could not sleep so from I could from when I got up to have been to work for the first day and then finally got to sleep that was 40 hours then I slept about five hours woke up with a oh, like that when my alarm went up I went off and went to work finished up work and then went home then I had an agreement, or that was yesterday, I made an agreement after coming home from work that I was supposed to go down and get some stamps from a lady today. Unfortunately, my body would not let me get up because of the 40 hours, so it took a vengeance on me. And I first got out of bed around half past two in the afternoon. I have an entire list of things I should, I should have done today. But it's not gonna happen. Not at all. <sighs> but it's okay. It'll be fine. On top of that, um, Laura, which had some cats up here at the time, she had Anton and Betsy and Pingo, if you remember. Or maybe that was the other channel. Well, I had those up here at the time after I didn't have my own cat she has or had a cat called Dumble which is a white with red and red stripes on the red calico is a calico mix something I don't know but beautiful cat round off ear very funny cat very high active cat and they needed a break from it so I was already preparing for getting the cat up here and then I was told yesterday that she found someone that would buy it and she got that done so now she don't, now there's a little bit more peace at home <laughs> which is fine so I was thinking I was gonna have a cat up here in the next couple of months until she find a buyer for her cat and I'm not going to so that's fine but I had been preparing for it so that's one of the things I've been doing when you guys haven't seen me I have also been making some readjustments of things here in the house which is technically just another word for saying I've been cleaning up so it's a little bit hard to see how my body hurts after work but there isn't that much stuff on the floor anymore I used to barely be able to go down there so I at least got that done and I have I think I took pictures but I have setting up that shelf for shop inventory I think I took pictures of it so I'm gonna put up a picture before and after probably around here then I have been cleaning up some places here and we have had <laughs> we have had three snowstorms within the last two months no one and a half month uh, and two wind storms actually the one of them is right now <laughs> one of them are right now so that should be the last storm we are supposed to have here uh, my plan was to go to the recycling center go down get those stamps and then go and pack the car with scrap metal 
so I can go out and get that done and get some money for that. That's not gonna happen because of the wind. What I did do yesterday were I made a wish list on Amazon. So I will put the link below. The wish list is for anyone that wants to give me a present or something like that. They want to donate me something. Um, no, it's not a begging thing or any kind. But if someone wants to give me a present for my birthday or something, if they think that I deserve something, then there is a list for it. Uh, be aware, it's mainly books right now, art books and paint. Is there a couple of brushes? Uh, there may be a couple of brushes and canvases. That's what there's on there. So it's all something I can use for future videos. So that would be the good thing of it. And it's labeled, labeled, the address are labeled for Anne Marie and Vlogs. Um, that's because I only have that address mentioned there because then I know which packages someone sent me from. So I know if it comes into a Marianne Vlogs, then I know it's a gift and I can put it aside, don't have to open it. And yes, you will be able to put more in the packages than just what there's on the list, that is a possibility. So if someone wants to, now they have a list. There is no um, enforcement, there is no nothing. It's just there for those who want to. Now, it is the 24th of January, and my glasses are dirty. I managed to, in the last couple of days, finish up the last of the earrings I have laying around that I could make. So, after I'm not getting a cat in, I am going to readjust this table and set it up for card making and then by the first I'm gonna make a new order for supplies and start a new thing in my life what is that you might think well do anyone know the thing called we sweat yes that is a guy he is on YouTube and he is claiming he can make everyone ma lose weight. I have looked into his videos and it do look like the weight diet strategy would could work on me. So I'm going to give that a try. Um... That's going to be within the first week of uh, the new month of February. Because there's a couple of things I want to do before I start that. That I will not be able to do when I do that. Like getting um, what we call a fast allowance bottle. Which is a very, very fat cake. <laughs> and I really like to get that before... I go on diet because then there's a year until I can get those again. Um, there's a couple of places I would like to go out and eat, which I have never been. I don't know if I'm ever going to go there, but I would like to give it a try. So, and because one of the places are nearby a shop where I actually need some stuff from. That would be a good excuse to go and get lunch there. So, that's a couple of things. So I would probably say within the first week I will be on a diet for the rest of the year. Let's see how well that goes. So I would like to get everything else in order before that so I don't have to 
stress about thing or worry about thing and anything like that. So yeah. And I think that I'm gonna end the vlog here and get it edited today and try to get it out before the first. And then we can do the next video with I don't know the set up the transformation of my life um all the kind of fun stuff just that there's going to be a, lo a lot of um how can I put a lot of changes here to the first so yeah I kind of need to deal with that somehow get everything to fit together um i did think about next christmas with something i could do because i know some of the things i am currently working on or has been working on takes a long time to do because there's more people involved so I was thinking about in 2024, I would like to make an advent calendar for sale. And it's going to be at 12 days of Christmas, it's not going to be 24, it's going to be 12 days of Christmas. And it's going to be something you can use the entire year. That will only only be a very very low amount um, very, very very low amount of possibility for me to actually make that work and low amount for stock that too uh, I need because they need to be within a budget. So I need to look into what things cost and that kind of stuff, and I need to get on that at a decent amount of time. And there is still that when I need something done. It's still a chance they can break. To be honest. So I don't know what I'm going to do right now. It's, I'm trying to figure it out. See if there's anywhere I can do some shortcuts. That would be nice. If I can do a shortcut somewhere, that would be really, 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 really nice. But we will have to see. In any case, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, little bell for notification, and throw on that like. And welcome to all the new subscribers that has been showing up. I have seen you, so thank you for that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!